Hi guys, welcome back to Vala Secure Videos. These videos are here to make you more secure online, in business, and in life here on planet Earth. So in the wake of the new normal of working remote and working from home, I wanted to get in front of you and talk to you about putting your personal playbook together to protect yourself while working online. Information security, it, it sounds complicated and you know, it is. There's lots of big words with ones and zeros and super cool trending names with all this new technology. But let's strip away all that and let's talk about some simple common sense mitigating controls. So number one is keep your operating systems updated. Don't be the lowest hanging fruit. Fraudsters often look for known vulnerabilities that should have been patched long ago. Windows 10 does this for you automatically. Turn on automatic updates, set it, forget it, let that guy run on autopilot. The same thing with your anti, your operating system's anti-malware capabilities. Windows Bitdefender, it's included with your Windows 10 license, set it and forget it. Internet of Things, those smart home devices, they all have an IP address when we connect them to our Wi-Fi networks. They all have a, a spot on our home network which then gives them, uh, you know, gives our network and more exposure factor. So they all have access to the internet, the, the Nest thermostats, the ring doorbells, the smart locks, the Amazon Echo, the Amazon Dot, the Google Home. So security is normally the last thing that's added to those products. Their objective is to get the products to market. So uh, I, I, I'm pro Internet of Things. I like my Amazon show, but convenience lessens the security. So the simple solution here is create a secondary Wi-Fi network, dump those devices into that network, and then keep your firmware and your software updated. You know, once a year, go through and update all of your Internet Things devices. Number two is online security. So use unique passwords, strong passwords, and store your passwords in a password manager and don't reuse passwords. Big, big takeaway here is don't reuse passwords. Don't install things in your browser, like those plugins, those toolbars, or browser extensions, or download managers when prompted online. Your browser is perfect and beautiful just the way it is, so let it lie. Enable two-factor authentication on all critical accounts. I can't stress this one enough. Such a great control old apps on your iPhone or Android phone, if you download it and install it, you own it, and then you need to update it. If you no longer need it, uninstall it, you can always reinstall it again. And then the third thing I wanted to talk about was just email security. Email security, this is a big space, but we're just gonna talk about the most successful email campaigns in 2019. That way you know how to identify these campaigns. So number one, make people think that their account has been hacked. Number two is a delivery attempt from, you know, Amazon or UPS or United States Postal, you know, tracking, rate your transaction, rate your service. Number three is deactivation of an account is in process. So any of those events happen, those are some red flags to look for. Here's, here's the solution. Take, take email and throw it away. Just log directly into that service, that website, or that app. If they're trying to get a hold of you, there will be some sort of notification in your online portal. So if you didn't initiate it and it's unsolicited, delete it. If it's really important, they'll reach out to you again. So cybersecurity sounds complicated, you know, but as we start chipping away and implementing some of these mitigating controls, your exposure becomes a lot smaller. So your cybersecurity posture is it's a journey, not a road trip. I hope that this video was helpful. Reach out with any questions and we will see you in the next video.